my friends and welcome to my short tutorial of how I made my Forest of Valor pathing. I get asked a lot um, during stream how I make this path and what steps I do to make this path. So I'm going to show you real quick. In the furniture tab under landscaping, you have the rocks tab. Now I use a couple of different rocks. Specifically for the for Forest of Valor, I used the small, mossy Forest of Valor rock. And you place it down, and then you grab another one, and you place it down, and then you grab another one, and you place it down. And then you switch to the small glade, sorry, not glade, the small Forest of Valor cluster, and you place one of those. Not Dazzle Beach. Small f Forest of Valor. I'm gonna do one on this side as well. And then grab some of the mossy rocks. And you kind of just want to play around with how you want it to look. How you personally think you want your area to be. And you can throw in some curves here and there if you'd like. All you gotta do is bring the rocks over to whichever way you want to curve it. And then utilize the small clusters to help with that curve. So for instance, this one, I would just move over one hair just so I can start this curve going this way. I didn't mean to do that, so we're going to go back into the furniture tab. Again, it's under rocks. And then you grab another one. And you just keep doing this until you are satisfied with how you prefer your pathing to look. And... The reason why I like doing this type of pathing is because it's not so cookie cutter. It's not s super clean with the edges. Um, as a lot of you know, once you place your pathing down, it has that square edge that everyone just cannot get away from, <laughs> no matter how hard we try. So this kind of eliminates having that super square edge. I'm going to go over to the pathing that I used specifically for my Forest of Valor build. It's the Leaf Strewn Path. It requires hardwood as well as soil to create one square. So if you're going to make this pathing, start saving your hardwood now. Because I literally spent 72 years collecting hardwood and it was the hardest thing, the grindiest thing that I've ever had to do. But you take your pathing, you place it down. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to move. No, I'm not going to move where I started. So you place it down and then I brought it over a little over the edge of the rock instead of in front of it because I find that it looks a lot more natural if you put it underneath the rock instead of on the side of the rock because the rocks themselves kind of have, if you can see, this little grassy area if I move this up around it that makes it look super natural and I really really like that especially when you're kind of just naturally walking along the paths and then sometimes um, it is nice to kind of go over the pathing because it just makes it look way more natural I know I keep saying that word. It looks more natural, but it does. And that's how I make it. And you just continue making the pathing along these stones. And soon you'll have a beautiful masterpiece like this across the bridge. Practice makes perfect. It's super hard to do this uh, on console. I would know because I play on PS5 and using a controller to decorate is one of the worst things I've ever done. But you get the outcome of this pathing 
and I promise you it is so worth it. Thanks so much for hanging out once again. I appreciate y'all watching my videos and supporting my content over here on YouTube. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if this helped you. Make sure to comment if you used this pathing technique. And head over to twitch.tv slash athenabean for some live decorating streams in Disney Dreamlight Valley. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.